Welcome back, Michael at Wickerson Studios. About a couple of dozen followers that are interested in what I'm doing. I'm taking a look at Proposition 12 of Euclid's Elements. You can see that I can kind of play off of this web. Um, and also I can kind of, uh, actually I'm not going to use this one right now. I'm just going to have it go from X to Y. You see that I have this little tiny spider that kind of climbs along this web. Bugs out a little bit, considering it's a spider. Uh, but I like that as a tool. Um, and you have control over these strings and you can think what to do with it after it's it's not important that this is like uh, a Fancy script or anything. It's actually a very simple script. It's just applying ranges make it much more Interesting, so let's go down to actually what the script says and it's the book one proposition um, 12 to draw a straight line perpendicular to any given point uh, is any given infinite point from To a given infinite straight line from a given point which is not on it. So basically I have a straight line down here that I'm controlling. Uh, that, that controlled line can be put anywhere on that outer circle and you can see the inner circle is generating um, from any point that I so choose whether I put it over here or I lift it up or I lower it so long as it has a long enough radii to touch uh, that inner circle to touch the uh, line that bisects uh, uh, the diameter line. Well, it would be a diameter line if you set it to one, but so long as it can touch that, then you can actually play off of uh, pulling that perpendicular uh, up the middle from any point that's anywhere in relation to that line. So just using that simple proposition, which is not very hard to kind of interpret or understand, uh, you can then go in and generate some pretty wild geometry. So there's the one with the web that I kind of produce and then I have a point that's not really an attractor, but you could consider it that. I like this kind of bug attractor. What I can do, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, um, just by its division or multiplication. It's just simple parametric control. And you see that kind of multi leg spider creeping across here. And I like the way it kind of moves its legs as it goes, spreads its legs, and then kind of flips over itself. So you can think about these in three dimensions, but mechanically driving things from lines. And you know, lots of short videos coming from these propositions, geometry, and really kind of coming into my stride and what I'm really, really interested in all of this. Wait till we get to the three dimensional uh, models. It's going to be incredible. Thanks for watching.